Three weeks after the June primary, some local races are still too close to call. The race for one of the San Diego City Council seats is incredibly tight. That's right. Our 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live where right now only one vote separates those candidates competing for second place and a runoff. Rachel. Yes, yeah, Steve, and in just the last two minutes, I found out that now uh, the other candidate is up by just two votes. Antonio Martinez now up by two votes. His opponent up until yesterday had been up by just one vote. Again, though, these uh, results are not certified, but again, the uh, cliche that every vote counts holds true again. The heart of Barrio Logan. While these children cool off in the fountain, candidate Christian Ramirez says he's worried about pollution and the high number of kids with asthma in this area. We will make sure that we have zoning laws in Barrio Logan so that we don't have heavy industry set up shop next to my kids preschool. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't have trucks driving the middle of residential areas. Ramirez is fighting for second place in the November runoff to replace San Diego Councilman David Alvarez. Alvarez is termed out. Ramirez is a border activist. He says he's been fighting for the rights of immigrants for 20 years. We need someone in City Hall that really understands the importance of, of building bridges across the border. We left several messages with his opponent, Antonio Martinez, seen here on his Facebook page, but we still haven't heard back. Martinez is a San Ysidro school board member. Martinez was ahead after the election, but Ramirez has been closing the gap. As of Monday night, Ramirez had taken the lead. Uh, we've been obviously following this very, very closely since election day. We've been uh, closing the gap since June 5th. Uh, and finally yesterday, uh, the, name, the number was favorable to, to our cause. Ramirez ahead by just one vote, but there are still roughly 1,300 ballots left to be counted. Every single vote matters. And today we're up by one vote. Uh, you know, a few days ago we were down by almost 200 votes. Uh, so it's true. Every single vote counts. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And it certainly does. And again, the latest numbers now showing that Martinez is in the lead again by just two votes. And the candidate who comes in second uh, will face Democratic candidate Vivian Moreno in the November runoff. Reporting live at the Registrar of Voters, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.